in the last video we discuss on how to find uh, how to find wh how much the data is scattered or how do we compare uh, whether which data which data is more scattered if, if there are more than one data set so the first the, and very easiest way to measure which data is more scattered from its central value is from its mean or from its center is the range right what we what did we do we subtracted the smallest value from the largest value of that data and that is called the range another and more powerful more useful technique is find the variance or the standard deviation of the data okay so in the variance and the standard deviation we have Population variance and standard deviation and sample variance and standard deviation. Usually we find out the sample variance and standard deviation because statistics is the study of the sample basically and use that to the population, right? So the main goal is the statistics is that. Okay. For the population variance, we denote by sigma square. We call sigma. Sigma. Sigma square. Population variance is the mean of the squares of the deviations of the data from their mean. This is the square of the deviation from the data from their mean and we are finding the mean of that. Okay, so this is the formula to find out the variance and the standard deviation is the square root of that. So what is sigma then? Sigma will be the square root of sum of x minus mu square and then divide by n. This is the standard deviation. This is the population standard deviation. This is the population variance. Okay, all right. So mu is the population mean, n is the number of data points. So how many data are there? Okay. And I will show you one example on how to find out that. But there is a very easy calculator way to find out the um, uh, to find out the population variance and standard deviation. Also, the sample variance and standard deviation. Okay. So although this is the formula this is the formula okay for the population standard deviation usually we don't need to find the population standard deviation i mean the, there is a little bit different about the population standard deviation and sample standard deviation but usually population is not known right so we take a sample and we work on the sample so this is the formula for sample variance see the difference the population standard variance or population standard deviation are denoted by sigma but sample variance is denoted by s and the sample standard deviation s is square and sample standard deviation is denoted by s okay so the formula is summation x minus x bar here it was x minus mu here it is x minus x bar both this is the population mean this is the sample size uh, the the size of the population how many data points are in the population this is the uh, sample mean n minus 1 so sample size minus 1 okay this is the difference you see that there is m in the population variance there is n minus 1 in the population uh, sorry sample variance what is the sample standard deviation just the root of that so sum of x minus x bar square divided by n minus 1 it is the formula for s actually you take the standard deviation uh, i mean the square root of that okay the positive square root of sample uh, variance is called sample standard deviation a rough estimate uh, for the standard deviation is s equals to range over 4 for an unimodal and approximately symmetric distribution this is just a rough estimate you find out the range and divide by 4 you will get almost the similar values if the data is nice meaning there is only one peak in the middle and data is the bell shaped in that case all right so although it has this x minus mu or x minus x bar, you need to find out first x bar and then subtract x bar from x for each of those data and then square it and divide by n minus 1. Although this is the definition, but we use a simpler formula because if you simplify this, this is what you get for the sample variance. Okay, For sample variance, you use this formula. This is the simplified formula if you are doing it by hand. And I will show you how to do by calculator too. Okay, What is the formula? s square equals to n times summation x square minus summation x whole square over n times n minus 1. What does that mean? That means x will be given to you. Here f is not given. So this is for the raw data. Okay. Raw data. For the raw data, if you want to know the variance or the standard deviation, x is given to you. What you need to know next is x square. 
So x is given like 5, 6, 7, 11, like that. You need to find a square of that. You'll get 25, 36, 49, and so on. So on. Find out the sum of x. That will be this value. Find out the sum of the x square. That will be that value. And then n is, you count how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that way. You find out and then plug in into this formula. Okay? Let us look at this. Here, on this data set, set you have to find out the sample variance. So n is 7. Okay? So n is 7. Now you need to find out x and x square. So I found all those. I put all those data in the first column, square of those data in the second column, find the sum, find the sum of x square, and now plug it into the formula. The formula was n times summation x square, n times that, minus summation x whole square, that is 77 square, divided by n times n minus 1. And you get 25.66 is the variance. To find out the standard deviation, you do root of that, square root of that. It is basically 5.07. That is the standard deviation. Now, how do you find out the uh, the variance of the raw data. How do I do that? Is you go you press stat exactly the same way. Then you find the mean in the calculator. Okay, you can watch the video in the previous uh, when we did the mean. So you press stat and edit and you enter that in L1. In L1, you enter that one, okay? And then go to, after you finish entering all those 17, like 5 through 17, and then go to stat, calc, and one variable status, and then hit enter. It will show you a lot of values. There will be a mean x bar, there will be sx, you will see sx and sigma x. sx will be the sample standard deviation, sigma x will be the population standard deviation, okay? This question asks you sample standard deviation, you will get exactly the same value if you do by calculator. I suggest you guys go ahead and do this by calculator. Just enter this in L1 and then go to, if you are using uh, TI-83, just go to stat edit and enter the data and go to stat calc one variable status and hit enter if you do it in L1. If you enter in L2, you need to do, uh, in TI-83, you need to do one variable status and then type L1 there. Okay. Inside the curly braces, you should type L1. That's what you should do. All right. Okay, now in case of the group data, this is the formula we use to find out the uh, to find out the uh, variance of the standard deviation. Okay, so what is x of m though? X of m is the mid value. So class will be given to you, frequency will be given to you. That will be f, and x m will be the mid value of this class. Find out the mid value. Mid value we denote by x m. Find out the mid value of that. Find the mid value of that. How do you find the mid value? This plus this divided by 2. This plus this divided by 2. This plus this divided by 2 will be the corresponding mid values. That's what you do. Okay. Let us do that problem. I just plot, I just uh, used x of m. That is the mid value of each class. And then f is given already. So when it, what next you need to do if you are doing by hand is f times xm. Two, 12 times 2.4. 13 times 3.1. 7 times 3.8 and so on. And another one is f times x of m square. That is square of this times 12. 2.4 square times 12. 3.1 square times 13. 3.8 square times 7 and so on. And you add this, add this and plot it into the formula. n is, what is n though? n is summation f. How many data points are there? Where n is the summation f. Let me write down there. Where n is, n is the summation f. Okay. The sum of the frequencies is the n. And then you put that in the formula. So n is 40. So it will be like 40 times 485.27 minus 134 times 5 squared divided by 40 times 40 minus 1. If you do that, you will get, that's what you did. You will get variance is 0 0.8484. Uh, okay. If you want to find out the standard deviation, sample standard deviation, you take the square root, you get 0 0.92. Okay. Note that the value may slightly change if you consider more decimal places. All right. You need to use calculator to find out the variance and standard deviation of, uh, of this data. How do I do that? So you need to enter. So uh, go to stat and then edit and then hit enter. Press enter. And then you will see L1, L2, L3 like that, right? So what do you do? You do the XM 2.4, 3.1, you enter that way, 3.8, and so on. And here you do 12, 13, 7, and so on. And what you do next is stat, 
and then calc uh, C A L C calc and then press one choose one variable status uh, status statistic okay St statistic so if you do that and then press enter you will see x bar as x sigma x and and then you, you see so many things you will see q1 is the quartile first quartile you will see in the next section okay and then median it will show median 2 it will show q3 and so on minimum value maximum value so many things this is how you find out the uh, variance and the standard deviation so this is the sample standard deviation sample standard deviation this is the population standard deviation if you are asked to find out note that the calculator find out the standard deviation if you want to find the variance you need to square this square this to find out the sample variance and the uh, population variance okay guys all right so let us see the note variance and the standard deviation measures the speed of the data when comparing two data set if the variance or standard deviation of one data set is large the data is more dispersed than the other one now the next one very important thing is the coefficient of variance or the variation which is very easy thing okay when we compare two samples of the same unit then variance or the standard deviation are good measure of the variation if the two samples have the different units then the above measures cannot be used if there are two different units then the variance only finding the variance or the standard deviation is not very useful to find out the spread or the scatterness okay so for these we need to change them into the uh, unit less uh, measure okay that is called the coefficient of variations denoted by cv c var or cv is the standard deviation divided by the mean that is coefficient of variation is denoted by c var or cv and how do we find out that is you just find out the uh, s and then divide by x bar times 100 percent for sample and sigma divided by mu times 100 percent is for population let us do an example okay so uh, the mean of the number of sales of car for three month period is 87 so what is given so for the uh, number of cars number of cars and then for the commission is also given so the mean is 87 and the standard deviation is 5 here the mean of the commission is x bar is 5225 and the standard deviation is s is 773 now see if you look at here just if you look at the standard deviation only you will see that this is more spread more scattered right but we don't know we need to compare because this number is this is the number of car this is the dollar amount this is number this is dollar they have the different units so what you need to do is you need to find out the coefficient of variance variance or coefficient of variation okay how do i do that s over x bar times 100 percent that is 5.75 percent okay for this one similarly s over x bar times 100 percent is 14.79 percent so here the coefficient of variance of the commission is bigger meaning the commissions are more variable than the sales okay guys so this is how we find out if you are comparing two data sets with different units if the two data sets are the same unit then you can find out just the variance and then see which one is more bigger bigger variance means more scattered smaller variance means less scattered but if they have the different units you will find out the coefficient of variance to compare the two data set okay guys thank you